The Pikes Peak country was described long ago by Theodore Roosevelt as scenery so grand that it bankrupts the English language to describe. Today, the area includes not only incredible natural wonders, but also 38 major visitor attractions, and that number is growing steadily. The spectacular Grand Canyon of the Arkansas River, popularly called the Royal Gorge, is located near Canyon City. A ride across the gorge on the aerial tram is a special treat. It's an unusual and exciting adventure to glide smoothly through the air for half a mile, enjoying a breathtaking panorama of the gorge. The mighty canyon is also spanned by the world's highest suspension bridge, 1,055 feet above the river. Explorer Zebulon Pike discovered the gorge in 1806. Hundreds of movies have been shot here over the past 75 years. There's still another way to explore the canyon, a trip down to river level on the world's steepest incline railway, which descends at a 45% grade. At the bottom, the Arkansas River flows swiftly past, continuing to gouge the canyon still deeper. The Santa Fe Railroad maintains a regular schedule of freight trains through the gorge. Up on top again, the ride on the Royal Gorge Railway is a thrilling experience for visitors. This is one of the region's most dramatic train trips, crossing trestles and traveling through beautiful open country to the very rim of the immense gorge itself. Fifty miles to the north is Colorado Springs, a modern metropolis surrounded by smaller towns that are steeped in history. In a setting of spectacular alpine beauty, historic Manitou Springs nestles at the very foot of Pikes Peak. This quaint Victorian town with its handsome old buildings is one of the country's largest national historic districts. The place was named by local Indians in honor of their Manitou, or great spirit. Among the many major attractions located near Manitou Springs is the world famous Miramont Castle built in 1895. This is an authentic castle with four stories and 46 rooms and was built by a Catholic priest. The castle, which is designed in nine distinct architectural styles, including Romanesque, Gothic, and Tudor, is open for visitor tours. Its lavishly appointed rooms are filled with historical exhibits and priceless articles of furniture and decoration.
The Mount Manitou Incline is the longest railway of its type in the world. It climbs from an elevation of 6,400 feet at the lower station to 8,600 feet at the summit along a one-mile ascent. This breathtaking excursion provides a spectacular view of the city of Colorado Springs, with the Great Plains stretching off to the east. Several foot trails offer a fine opportunity to explore Mount Manitou Summit. At Buffalo Bill's Wax Museum, you can step back into history and see what many of our unforgettable Western characters, famous and infamous alike, really looked like. Their wild and violent times are recreated in authentic settings and situations. The W.A. Bells were the founders of the town of Manitou Springs. Infamous Black Bart is seen in the act of holding up a stage. Calamity Jane was a close friend of Wild Bill Hickok. Here at the famous number 10 saloon in Deadwood, he was shot and killed from behind while playing cards. The Indians of the West are portrayed in several authentic scenes. There's no need to introduce famous General George Custer. Here's a pioneer family on the trail. The West would have been a different place without Judge Roy Bean. We'll always remember Bell Star. as well as the Sundance Kid, and his partner, Butch Cassidy. Here in Pikes Peak Country, there are several well-known dinner theaters featuring old-time stage plays. None of them is better than the Iron Springs melodrama featured at the historic Iron Springs Chateau. The spirited cast offers their zany version of a turn-of-the-century stage melodrama, complete with music and comedy. You'll love every minute of it. Williams Canyon is just a short distance from Manitou Springs. An excellent road allows visitors to drive deep into its narrow recesses. 
Far above is the entrance to the famous Cave of the Winds. Cave of the Winds is the oldest attraction in Pikes Peak country and one of the most exciting. This is a natural geological wonder, and at 7,000 feet above sea level, it's the highest commercial show cave in the United States. It was aptly named for the breeze at the entrance, which makes a low moaning sound. The cave is filled with a variety of extraordinarily beautiful formations including large folded draperies in stone, stalactites, stalagmites, and the delicately formed crystals and knobs that adorn the ceilings. The formations are composed primarily of limestone. They were created by a combination of chemical action and the evaporation of mineral-laden water that trickled down from above. The colors of the formations are caused by trace elements. Fragile whitish crystals were formed over eons of time as trickling water deposited limestone and calcium carbonate. Remember that a stalactite with a C hangs from the ceiling, which begins with C. A stalagmite with a G grows up from the ground, which begins with a G. These lines from a poem are seen in the cave. Dreams of mountains, as in their sleep, they brood on things eternal. Not far away, Santa's workshop at the North Pole offers good family fun. It's a special treat for youngsters of all ages. This wonderland for children is located among whispering pines on the slopes of Pikes Peak. A variety of entertainment is presented, including, of course, a visit with Santa himself. The Manitou Cliff Dwellings Museum is located in beautiful Cliff Canyon. This is a major archaeological preserve. The museum contains a superb collection of artifacts of the prehistoric Indian cliff dwellers, dating from their great Pueblo period, A.D. 1100 to 1300. In addition, authentic Indian dances are performed here daily during the summer months. President's Wax Museum is one of the finest in the United States. A stroll through these galleries is like a walk through American history. Abraham Lincoln, our 16th president, served from 1861 to 1865, the crisis years of the Civil War. George Washington, the country's leader during the Revolution, later became its first president. He's shown making his famous winter crossing of the Delaware River. From left to right are Presidents John Quincy Adams, Andrew Jackson, James Monroe, and on the staircase, James Madison. Thomas Jefferson, our third president, earlier composed the Declaration of Independence. It's 
Abraham Lincoln is considered by many to be our greatest president. He was assassinated on April 15, 1865. President Chester Allen Arthur was known as the great storyteller. The museum presents many of his favorite characters from famous children's stories. William McKinley, our 25th president, was shot by an anarchist on September 6, 1901, and died from the assassin's bullet eight days later. Teddy Roosevelt, with his lively personality and winning smile, was one of our most popular presidents. Woodrow Wilson served from 1913 to 1921 through the fateful years of the First World War. President Franklin D. Roosevelt and Great Britain's Prime Minister Winston Churchill. Our 35th president, John F. Kennedy. President Richard Nixon with Dwight Eisenhower on the left and Lyndon B. Johnson on the right. The Garden of the Gods is a 1,300-acre wonderland where nature has displayed her beauties with a lavish hand. At one of the entrances, steamboat rock and balanced rock are popular subjects for camera enthusiasts. Some of the most spectacular scenery is located here in the central garden area. These giant red sandstone formations have been carved by natural erosion into all sorts of fanciful and striking shapes. Nestled against the towering red sandstone walls is the Hidden Inn, offering a wide variety of tourist facilities. Rock climbing is a popular sport here. The city of Colorado Springs enforces strict rules to regulate climbers. For the rest of us, it's a thrilling experience to watch the agile athletes make their way up and down the vertical cliffs. The park is laced with excellent roads and hiking trails. One of the great pleasures for any visitor is to wander among these red sandstone giants. Fantastic formations with names such as the Three Graces, Cathedral Spires, and the Tower of Babel. 200 million years ago, this brilliant red sandstone was flat in horizontal strata. It was pushed up by geological forces and eventually sculpted by erosion into its present unusual forms. These are the kissing camels. Rain, wind, and the alternate freezing and thawing of moisture have shaped the rocks into these beautiful, sometimes grotesque, but always fascinating formations. The famous Siamese twins are located on a trail a short distance from the road. Horseback riding is always a popular activity in this spectacularly scenic country. The Camera Obscura is located at the park's highest point. Here you can enter one of the world's largest cameras and enjoy a 360 degree panoramic view of the Garden of the Gods and much of the Pikes Peak region. 
The unique trading post is built in the style of the Indian Pueblos of the Southwest. It displays and sells handicrafts of the Navajo. At the Flying W Ranch, visitors can relive the thrilling days of the Old West. There are fine shops in an authentically restored western town. A stroll here can give you an impression of what life in a frontier town was really like. During the summer, real cowboys will dish you up a chuck wagon supper. If the weather's bad, the same great meal is served indoors. You'll be entertained with songs from the western range of yesteryear. White House Ranch and its Living History program offer a chance to experience everyday life in this region in earlier times. There's an old homestead of the 1860s, a working ranch of the 90s, and even an estate of the early 1900s. You'll also find a charming general store. There are two ways to reach the top of Pikes Peak or three if you climb it on foot. One is to travel the good surfaced road that winds its way to the summit. This is a fine drive with points of interest and scenic views all along the route. During the late spring and early fall, you may come across substantial patches of snow. This is where the world famous Pikes Peak Auto Hill Climb Road Race is held each July. Winter or summer, the region's most exciting single attraction may be the Cog Railway ride to the top of Pikes Peak. From the top, the view is breathtaking, with the plains to the east and the mountains to the west, all spread out in a seemingly endless panorama. Leaving the Summit House at an elevation of 14,110 feet, the train descends through broad, barren slopes above timberline and further down passes through dense forests. It returns at last to the Manitou Springs Station, where it began its round trip earlier in the day. The attractive, thriving city of Colorado Springs dominates Pikes Peak country. This is the hub of visitor activity here, with every convenience for travelers. This handsome statue honors the city's founder, General William James Palmer. Modern office buildings rise in striking contrast with some of the small towns nearby, which have changed little since the turn of the century. 
Old Colorado City has almost been absorbed by Colorado Springs, but once it was the territorial capital. For a time, it offered lively competition to its young upstart neighbor with houses of ill repute, gambling halls, and saloons. Today, after extensive restoration, Colorado City is a delightful area of shops and restaurants, all designed as a nostalgic reminder of bygone times. The pioneers who arrived here during the 1800s have left a rich legacy of history. Many items from those early times have been preserved in local museums. One of the best is Pikes Peak Ghost Town. They've done a remarkable job of recreating an old western town, and all of it's been accomplished indoors. There's a fine collection of antique carriages and cars, and a century-old stagecoach. To name just a few of the establishments that line the boardwalk, there are a general store, a photo studio, a saloon, complete with an old player piano, a barber shop, and a print shop with an original newspaper about Lincoln's assassination. These are fully restored rooms from period houses of the 1800s, complete with lifelike wax figures and period clothes. What is now the Pioneer Museum in downtown Colorado Springs, in 1903 was the El Paso County Courthouse. Architecturally, it's an exhibit by itself, rivaling some of Europe's most ornate buildings. But it's far more than that. It contains displays and artifacts that document the city's early history and the courageous pioneers who established homes here and brought civilization to the wilderness. The purpose of the Colorado Springs Fine Arts Center is to foster both the performing and the visual arts. Its galleries exhibit works from a superb collection of 19th and 20th century American art, as well as one of the world's finest collections of Native American and Hispanic arts and artifacts. One of the newest museums in Pikes Peak country is dedicated to that hardy group of men who were largely responsible for taming of the West, the American Cowboys. 
It's called the Pro Rodeo Hall of Champions and the Museum of the American Cowboy. It preserves the legacy they have left us and it honors them as champions of the American legend. This is an entertaining and educational place designed to appeal to visitors of all ages and interests. It's been called the grandest mile of scenery in Colorado. Most visitors would agree that South Cheyenne Canyon with seven falls as its dramatic highlight is one of the state's outstanding attractions. Spectacular Seven Falls, together with its beautiful Box Canyon setting, comprise one of the region's loveliest sights. As an added feature, the falls are illuminated after dark with colored floodlights. High up on the side of Cheyenne Mountain, Overlooking Colorado Springs is one of the world's most unusual zoos. It's rated among the top ten in the nation. The excellent animal collection is extremely varied and includes exotic species from all parts of the globe. Higher still, on the same highway and above the zoo, you'll discover the fascinating Will Rogers Shrine, a great granite tower dedicated to America's beloved humorist. Near the tower is a bust of Will Rogers, inscribed with his famous words, I never met a man I didn't like. Many rooms in the tower display unique photographic exhibits about his life. From the top of the tower, there's a thrilling view of the Great Plains below, including Colorado Springs and the giant resort complex of the Broadmoor Hotel. The world of the Broadmoor Hotel, set in the most beautiful scenery in the West, combines modern elegance with a long-standing tradition of providing delightful relaxation for its patrons.
Several of the world's most famous dining rooms are found here. English and decor, the Charles Court offers one of the most outstanding dining experiences in the country. At the Broadmoor Main, you'll find works of art that were created decades ago by European craftsmen. The art of the Broadmoor West dates back to the Ming and Qing dynasties of China. The new Colorado Hall, annexed to the Broadmoor Conference Center, makes the Broadmoor the most versatile of all resort hotel conference headquarters. 35,000 square feet are available for exhibit, show, and conference use. The Broadmoor World Arena is host to the spectacular ice shows and fast action hockey games. The Broadmoor is infinitely more than a fine hotel. It is the spirit of Colorado recreation at its best. An almost unlimited choice of activities is available regardless of age or interest. The Broadmoor is regarded as the grand dam of the great resort hotels, the standard by which all other hotels are judged. The Main Museum of Natural History houses one of the country's finest collections of giant insects. More than 7,000 unusual invertebrate creatures from the tropical areas of the globe are displayed. One of the highlights is the rare Agrias butterfly from the remote parts of South America. This is the beautiful Morpho butterfly from the region of the Amazon. bird-eating tarantula. These are some of the world's largest and most colorful locusts. This huge praying mantis is preparing to devour her mate. The May Museum is filled with interesting exhibits. Nearly a century ago, the discovery of gold at Cripple Creek set off a wild rush to this place. The slogan was, Pike's Peak or Bust. In fact, the country's last major gold rush took place here on the slopes of Pike's Peak itself. Almost overnight, the little town became the fourth largest city in Colorado, with a population of more than 50,000 people. Altogether, the mines here produced over $500 million. Bennett Street, main thoroughfare of Cripple Creek, remains almost unchanged since those feverish days of the 90s. Quaint shops now invite the tourists. Nearly a century ago on nearby Myers Avenue, painted women conducted their business in one of the most famous red light districts in the West. Reminders of that long gone past are still visible everywhere. The Imperial Hotel, fully restored, is the only one of the town's original hotels still standing. In summer, classic Victorian dramas are presented here. The Cripple Creek District Museum has three floors of interesting exhibits on mining history. No visit here is complete without an exciting ride on the Cripple Creek and Victor narrow gauge railroad. This famous old train was an essential link in the mining operations of the area. We leave the town depot and travel a four mile route passing the stream named Cripple Creek.
our ride on this colorful and picturesque little train takes us near the remains of many old mines. The narrow gauge type of railway was originally developed for use inside the mines to carry men, equipment, and ore through cramped underground passageways. But it proved suitable for hauling ore above ground as well. In mountainous regions, narrow gauge trains were ideal for negotiating sharp curves and steep grades. A visit to the Molly Kathleen Mine is one of the most memorable experiences you can have here in Pikes Peak Country. You can descend to what is called the 1000 level of the mine, a thousand feet underground, where an actual museum has been created to display old mining equipment. Nearby, the mountains are laced with hundreds of abandoned mines. At the peak of operations here, 475 mines poured forth their ore in a seemingly unending stream of riches. It's currently estimated that between 80 and 90 percent of the gold still remains in these mines. It's possible that at some future date, there will be a major rebirth of gold mining here. In the fall, the mountainsides around Cripple Creek blaze with colorful autumn foliage. On the western slopes of Pikes Peak lies Florissant Fossil Beds National Monument. In the Hornbeck Homestead here are exhibits that depict the way of life of the early settlers. Visitors can inspect 12 huge petrified sequoia stumps, one of which is 11 feet tall and 10 feet in diameter. In the visitor center, numerous fossils are on display. These are mostly of insect and plant life that flourished here millions of years ago on the ancient floodplain. Ten miles north of Colorado Springs, the dramatic modern buildings of the United States Air Force Academy rise against a spectacular backdrop of the mighty Rocky Mountains. Over a million and a half people pass through the visitor center here each year, making the Academy the most popular attraction in the state. The 17-spired All-Faith Cadet Chapel is one of the most photographed churches in America and the center of campus religious activities. It's composed of three separate and unique chapels. The Protestant nave accommodates 1,200 worshipers and a choir of 100. The lovely Catholic chapel seats 500. The circular Jewish synagogue radiates warmth and welcome.
Few schools on earth can boast a more beautiful or more healthful setting than this one. Here on the 18,000 acre campus, America's finest young men and women undergo four years of thorough and rigorous educational training. But their lives aren't all work and study. Sixteen varsity sports are scheduled by the academy, including football, which is played in Falcon Stadium. Ice hockey and other winter sports are also very popular. For most Americans, there can be few more stirring sights than this. Forty squadrons in the cadet wing stride down the Bring Me Men ramp and out onto the parade grounds for their June review. This dazzling display of precision marching and block formation is open to the public. In 1954, the Regal Falcon was selected as the Academy's official mascot by the first class of cadets. These young men and women resplendent in their dress uniforms will shortly become officers in the greatest Air Force in the world. We proudly salute the youngest of our country's service branches. The early pioneers who settled this place discovered a bountiful land of unspoiled scenic beauty. Today, millions of people come here each year to enjoy that beauty and to visit the region's countless attractions. Pikes Peak Country is truly one of America's great natural wonders. The lovely lyrics of Catherine Lee Bates' immortal song, inspired so long ago by these beautiful scenes, remain just as meaningful today. For purple mountain majesties above the fruited plain, America, America, God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea.